Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at the BSE Parasite Fighter Tick, which is this tiny little fighter ship right here. And it's got some amazing functionality on it, but I'll come to that a little bit later on. Now this ship is part of a series that also contains one of my favorite ships, which is the BSE Atmospheric Fighter, which I have used in multiple of my videos because it's such a neat little ship. So as we can see there, there is the Parasite Fighter, which weighs in at exactly 300 blocks. Yes, so it is quite a small ship, but it packs a lot of punch. So let's start with the very front. We can see an amazing design here. I like how the wings are sort of separated, but you don't have to worry about losing those little wings that are just hanging off the edge because all your main functionality is still tied to the main body. So at the very front here we can see we've got ion thrusters, gatling guns, cameras and rockets. Yes this thing is going to blast a hole in whatever it sets its eyes on but it's only capable of flying in space. So we've got the camera there so we can perfectly line up our weaponry and we've got four gatling guns and two missile launchers on the side. The missile launches have been partly covered up, but do not worry, it will not explode in your face when you fire them. As we move along to the side there, we can see some lovely block work, mainly using different colours and a clean skin design. We can see the side of the rock launcher, and if I just come down a little bit, we can then see some of the reactors all hidden away in there. We then turn across, of course we can see the giant connector there, which is how we're going to land our ship or connect up to the mothership or whatever you want to do to recharge the ship. We can see even more ion thrusters there and we've got this fancy little wing which is just being held on by an LCD screen there with a small little loco on it. Coming around to the side of the wing we've got our decoy there which is the whole purpose of these little wings so any auto aiming missiles or any kind of automated turrets will go for the wings rather than you instead. They are still pretty damn close to the cockpit, so you will have to be careful how you fly this thing. Moving around to the back there, we've got nothing special on the wing there that we didn't see already, but we then come to the main thrusters, which are two hydrogen and four ions. So this is what is going to boost us along through space, and it should give us a nice amount of acceleration considering the size of the ship. We've got the camera on there for rear viewing, just in case the enemy tries to be sneaky and look behind you. We have on top of here, which is something that I do greatly approve of, which is a warhead. Yes, there is a warhead on here, so if you wanted to, you can always take the easy way out. Behind the camera, we've got a small battery, which is what is going to be powering us up along with those little reactors. Coming down and underneath, we've got the antenna. We've got another camera to help us connect up with the connector. And then moving along there, we've got some lovely block work, which you couldn't see on the side where we can just see some of the internals in there. And that is it for the outside. It's a beautifully designed ship. Considering the sheer lack of blocks on it, they have done a brilliant job with designing this and giving it a unique look. But now it's time to hop into the cockpits and see what it offers. So number one, we've got a camera to view at the very front there. And number two is of course the Gatling guns. If I just come and turn the camera all the way around, there are the Gatling guns firing. Number three is the rocket launchers on the side. Like I said, you don't have to worry about them hitting that half block because they're perfectly capable of firing with it there. Number four is something that I will have to show right now. So I need to get some speed. In fact, let's go like this. We're going to go fast, right? We're driving fast. If I was to hold S, we're not stopping very well, are we? We've got very little thrust on the reverse. But let's speed all the way up and press number four. It takes control of my ship, it turns off the dampeners and flips us around. It'll then turn the dampeners on and thrust forwards for a emergency stop or a sharp turn. And there we go, my hands were completely off the keyboard there, it just flipped me around and stopped me. Which is a fantastic way of fixing ships that have bad stopping times. Number five is for the hydrogen thrusters, which you can turn on and off, depending on if you want that extra thrust or not. Number eight is another camera, and number nine is for the connectors. Tab number two, three, four have nothing on them. So how does this ship fly? 
So left and right is pretty slow. Going down and moving up is again very, very slow. But moving forwards is where this ship really takes control. Combined with a very sensitive control here, it's a really nimble and agile ship to fly around. With the emergency stop system like that, it's a great way of just fighting basically. If there are pirates that could actually spawn in this world, I would go and fight them, but unfortunately not. So that is it for this video. It's a great little fighter and I highly recommend you downloading it. Will it replace the atmospheric fighter for me when it comes to testing stuff? Probably. It is a really nice design to use, especially for space combat. But the last thing I can think of is, of course, exploding that warhead. You can't just put one of these on your ship and not expect me just to activate the countdown and watch it blow up. So here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fly there, shoot our missiles, perhaps even shoot the Gatling guns. Everything is fine here, and away it goes. Oh dear. So yes, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.